All right. Once everybody's off the field, we're going to demonstrate uh, Miss Daisy Control Teleoperated by the Microsoft Connect. Uh, first, I'm just going to introduce a little bit about uh, what the first beta test is. The beta test is a period where they give a few teams across the country uh, some hardware and software that they're considering for inclusion in 2012 as part of the first revised competition. We know that Microsoft is donating 2,500 connects uh, to the first teams in this coming season and that they will be used as part of the game to teleoperate the robots. We don't know how they're going to be used in the game, but we're going to show you a little bit about what the implementation might look like. Uh, because we're beta testing, we're taking a number of safety precautions. We're running directly on the Ethernet cable. It works fine over wireless. We're doing this for safety and because we forgot to change the account handle on them. Additionally, we're running uh, the, the control to take place behind the blue player station. So not near the middle of your field of view, but it's back there so that there's a minimal chance of people walking behind me and uh, seizing control of the robot. Uh, what I'm going to demonstrate is my left arm will be controlling the motion of the robot forwards and back. So when I hold it like this up from my side, the robot doesn't move. When I lift it up, the robot will drive forward. When I lower it down, it will drive in reverse. Turning. I have it set up. This turns left. This turns right. As you might imagine, doing complex maneuvers quickly looks like a calisthenics routine. My right arm is controlling the position of the arm. So what we're doing is we're looking at the, this, the angle of the right arm relative to the shoulder and commanding that angle to the arm shoulder joint. So what we're going to try to do is show which one of those functions and then put it all together and score. Uh, I will be operating primarily for safety reasons because I have very good insurance. Without further ado, let's give this a shot. So that's what one implementation of the Connect might look like. Uh, as you might imagine, there's a bunch of things you can do. The default code makes all of this very easy. The Connect looks like a joystick to your software. These are joystick axes. These are button presses. I think these are too. There's also an SDK where you can find crazy actions to do all sorts of neat things. Uh, I'll gladly answer any questions. Uh, just come and find me on the Sierra story table. Again, uh, we don't know if this is exactly how it's going to be used. The NFS teams don't know any better than you guys what's in store for 2012. Other than that, we know that they'll be involved in controlling the robots somehow. Perhaps optionally, perhaps mandatory, perhaps during auto mode, perhaps during tele -op. 
We don't know. While I have all your attention, I'm going to show you a couple of other things that we're going to test today. The Sea Rio running on Miss Daisy in this competition weighs half as much as the Sea Rio's that you guys are all running. It's a four slot version. It also boots up a little faster. Some other new features too. There's also a new Jaguar firmware that's being tested. Uh, it adds an automatic voltage ramp mode, so if you're slamming your, your drive forward in reverse, you're less likely to trip a breaker. And the last new feature is a new relay module that we're testing for, for 2013, not for 2012. Uh, if you have any questions about these, feel free to come over to the kit. Come find me. I'm glad to answer anything I can. Thanks.